what drives me crazy? Waiting. I'm about the most impatient person I know. And when I wanna go camping, I wanna go camping now. Here's what we do so that we can be ready to go at a moment's notice. One of the things that we do so we can get off the beaten path fast is to plan our trip. Even if you're not a detail planner like I am, everybody needs a general plan. Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna eat? Plus, if you have a plan, then you're not wasting time on your trip trying to figure out these things. So let's talk about trip planning. I start with the destination and then I work backward. Last year we took a trip to Washington to visit family and friends. We extended our trip and took some vacation time for ourselves. I may deviate a few miles if there's a campground that we really like or we want to stay at or a harvest host for example, or if there's something along our intended route that I really want to see. If we plan on camping in the National Forest, the National Park or State Parks, I use recreation.gov to find campgrounds there. Or I use freecampsites.net to find other camping locations. A lot of times I can find free dispersed camping or other free camping locations. Or maybe I just want to stay at a county park or some other type of park that you wouldn't find on recreation.gov. So an example of this is that we made reservations at Lake Solano. So Lake Solano is a paid county park and you can find that location on Campendium. We also have a membership to Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome. So those are two locations that you can camp for free once you pay the membership. We rarely stay in RV parks because that's just not our style. Plus we have a really small rig so we're not limited to RV parks. Now that I plan the trip, I know where we're going. That way I know what clothes to pack and how many days worth of clothes I need to pack. If we need to plan laundry and route, then I'll plan that also. I also know how many days meals that we'll need. This is important for me because I don't like to cook. So when we're out on the road, I do as many things as I can to make sure that cooking is at a minimum. If you like to cook, then that's great too. Then you plan to cook those meals and you plan to bring those ingredients. But I try to do everything ahead. I try to do make ahead meals. We do foil wrap dinners, which I really love. Those are so easy, especially on the first night when you get into camp and you wanna have something that you could just easily throw on the grill. A foil wrap dinner is awesome. And you can find lots of recipes on the internet. The other thing I really like is one pot meals because not only do I not like to cook, <laughs> I don't like to do dishes either. <laughs> so one pot meals really cut down on the number of dishes that we have to do and sadly we have a very small sink in our casita and we don't have a lot of room in the casita anyway. So I always have to find places to put the dishes in the casita. The minimum number of dishes we have, the easier my life is. One thing I do when we're camping, if I know that we're going to be somewhere that requires reservations, I make the reservations in advance because sometimes reservations are very difficult to get, especially where we live in California. So if we're making a trip in, inside of California or if we're going to a national park or we're going to a state park or something like that, that's really competitive to get into, I really like to make reservations in advance. So there have been times when we have made changes to our reservations and that's okay, but I like to know that when I get there, I have a place to go. Another option, of course, is dry camping or boondocking. And then when you're dry camping or boondocking, then you don't necessarily need to make a reservation, but you certainly need to know where you're going. So like I said, we have a small Weber grill that we put in the back of our tow vehicle and we take that with us so that we can quickly make those foil wrap dinners or other kind of barbecued item. We love having our little Weber grill so that we can cook outside. It doesn't make a big mess. It's not a lot of cleanup. And as I mentioned, those foil wrap dinners are a lifesaver to me. Some of the things that we do often are vegetables and chicken, and that usually includes potatoes. Um, another thing that we do a lot is sausage and vegetables, and that usually includes potatoes too. What I do is I cut up all the ingredients, I mix them in a bowl with a little bit of oil so that they don't stick to the foil, and I also add some seasonings. Wrap it up in that foil and then we put it on the grill until it's done 
and it tastes really good. One of the things that I really like to do is fajitas. Now they're not as crispy as if you cook them in a pan or a blackstone grill, but they're a really quick and easy meal that we both like. We just bring some tortillas and some toppings, maybe some sour cream, and it makes a great quick and easy meal. Sometimes for breakfast we'll do a boil and bag breakfast, and I just use a, um, plastic freezer bag and I put all the ingredients in there and I boil it actually in the bag. I know that they say you're not supposed to do that. So if that's not for you, that's fine. You can do the same thing and just empty the ingredients into the pan. And if you're not going to eat them like the next day or the day after that, then what you can do is you can just chop up your ingredients and put them in individual containers. And then that makes for really easy cooking when you're camping. Another thing that I've done that is pretty fun is uh, pre-made breakfast waffles. And we actually do the breakfast waffles with eggs. So I didn't even know that you could do that, but apparently, and uh, so we've done it, you can make these breakfast waffles. You just whip up the eggs in the bowl and you put all the toppings that you want, maybe some green onion, some bell pepper, some sausage to really bring out the flavor. And then you cook that in your waffle iron. And then you can either freeze it or you can put it in your refrigerator if you're going to eat it the next day. And then all you have to do is, um, again, put it in the foil and cook it on the grill. It's really quick, easy, and it tastes so good. Hey, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. You know what job I hate? Cleaning the trailer. It's a dirty job, but you know what? It's got to be done. And why let it hang over your head? I always clean the trailer within a few days after we get home. That way if friends say, hey, let's go camping, we're ready to go at a moment's notice. Plus, if you do it when you get home, it's not hanging over your head. For us, cleaning also includes emptying the gray and the black water tanks. Since I'm very lazy, I clean in as few steps as possible. If you'd like to see how I clean the trailer, check out the video in the description. Once you've cleaned your trailer and you've planned your trip, it's time to load up. So when I clean the trailer, I've already stocked up. So I've stocked up on toilet paper, I've stocked up on paper towels, I've stocked up on dry goods that go in the cupboard. We already have spices, so we're all ready to go on that front. Also, we have our toiletries all stocked up in the bathroom and ready to go. That way, the only thing I have to pack is my makeup and my clothes. So the night before we leave, Doug plugs in the trailer so that we can get the refrigerator nice and cool and get the freezer down to temperature and then that way the next day we can just put the food right into the refrigerator and the freezer. Doug also fills the fresh water tank so we're ready to go and we have fresh water when we leave. So when we load the trailer and the car we're loading things like food, clothing, the Weber grill, all the things that need to go in the back of the car those get loaded either the night before or that day. If we have an early departure then Doug hooks up the trailer the night before. Otherwise, he hooks it up that day. If you want a walkthrough of our Casita trailer, check out this video. If you want to see what equipment we use so that we can camp off the beaten path, check out this video.